All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. I'm gonna keep it clean. Touch gloves, let's do it. They had to wait one extra week. They get two extra rounds. Song Yudong and Ricky Simone scheduled for the co-headliner last week. Now they're shifted to the main event here tonight. Ready, ready, let's fight. Ricky Simone, the small favorite, is in the white. Song Yudong is in the black. Simone very much known as the grinder. He has landed 14 takedowns in a single UFC fight. That was with three rounds to work. He says he'll get better with having five rounds. The cardio, not an issue for him. Ricky Simone, showing a lot of respect for Song Yudong. Not really charging in there like he normally does. Song is building his reach right now. Trying to figure out how he wants to approach this challenge. Simone also trying to get his mind ready for this five round pace as well. So I think we're seeing a little Ooh. bit of a different patience out of him. Got a reach long fight. for a leg, and that's the first strike thrown by Song Yudong, the leg kick. One of the few blemishes on the record of Ricky Simone came against Uriah Faber, who's in the corner of Song Yadong when he just, I think, made a, a rookie mistake, even though he wasn't a rookie, but he just kind of charged in there, didn't really respect the power on the other side. Perhaps more calculated as he looks to throw himself in the fire here. Absolutely. In Sacramento, too, you know, all the, all the recipe for just a very difficult victory. And uh, Uriah Faber kind of steamrolled him there, but... Ricky Simone, as he has said time and time again, he doesn't lose, right? He gets chances to learn. And that was a chance to learn. Ooh. So you could, dance switch and Song claps the body. You could tell Yudong's team knows that Ricky shoots after that right hand because they're looking for that back knee right up the middle. You saw Song land the calf kick and then come with the right knee. He's looking to time that right knee when Ricky changes levels. That's why he's sitting and waiting for Ricky right now. He wants to meet him at that level change. Beautiful. Fingers up. He's looking for an uppercut or a knee, something to scoop Ricky Simone's head up when Ricky changes level. That's what you can see out of Sadong right now. Bit of a layoff ending for each of these fighters since they were last in action for Song Yudong. It was a main event against Corey Sandhagen right here at the Apex last September. That was called after the fourth round because of a cut above the left eye of Song Yudong. That was pretty gnarly. It took him a month to heal up from that and get back to training. For Ricky Simone, it was Long Island last July when he took out Jack Shore. Clinch along the fence. First time tonight they lock up. That was a beautiful double jab right hand landed for Ricky Simone. Song tried to get a little more aggressive and Ricky dove into the clinch. How about Song here? He's doing a really good job of controlling that clinch. Simone reverses position and shakes him off. 90 seconds to go round one. Oh, big clubbing right hand from Simone. And that's, both of them have a super good right hand and they're both gonna be dodging that the whole fight from it, one another. Simone lands the first right hand though. A smile after eating the leg kick from Song. I think when you look at Song, I think he believes he checked it and it hurt. Simone on that one. Yep. Oh, quick left from Song that time. When Song Yudong explodes into his strikes, he is so fast. He gets right in your face. And Simone right now is level changing every time. He's got to be very careful that Song doesn't throw a knee up there, right up the middle. And you may have overheard the Team Alpha Male corner of Song Yudong. I think Simone's starting to bite, bite on some of these feints. 
Perhaps it provides an opening. 25 seconds to go in the first round. Ooh, big swing and a miss twice. Ricky Simone liking it. We should shout out the team at Team Oyama, Colin Oyama, the lead corner for Ricky Simone. Trains in between camps at ATT Portland, American Top Team Portland, up near his native Vancouver, Washington. But he's been working with Colin Oyama the last several fights, and it has paid off. Fernando Padilla out of that camp tonight as well, getting a big win over Julian Arosa a few fights ago. Song believes he found an opening. He's kicking and a little trash talk as we start round two. That jab is going to be huge for both these gentlemen because they're so good at landing and finding that power shot. A jab will really help them find one another. Especially because they're close to the same height. Dom, you surprised at all? Only two takedown attempts from Simone in the first round didn't land any of them. Not surprised at all because it's a five round fight. You gotta be careful with your energy expenditure for five rounds, especially against a guy like Song. Also the fact that Song just defended it so well. Yeah. Right, that was much harder than... Oh! oh he heard a bash. Song, you don't try to pounce nice here. Double. Guillotine right. attempt from Song with Simone locking his hands. And he's out of it, turns into a takedown for Simone. Oh, that was just a beautiful transition for Simone there. You have to give credit to him. Because he got hurt, he got rocked, and then dropped down to a double at the perfect time when you saw Yudong attack. You've got to change levels in those situations. All right, we're seeing. Oh, wow. OK, so that, that knockdown, as it were, that was a clash of heads as they came together. We just saw on our replay monitor here in the booth. And we just saw no contest last week after a fight ending sequence between Bobby Green and Jared Gordon. And then Kelvin Gastelum had a clash of heads against Chris Curtis in round two, which perhaps played an influence in the judges' scorecards. Nonetheless, we play on here three minutes to go. Yeah, we just saw the clash of heads with Bobby Green as well recently yeah. in, the, in the last card. So that happens all the time. These guys were able to keep it together. Nice repping. Oh, body work, man. Song Yadong. Song throws so hard. His point, he is not Ooh. holding anything back. When he gets in the range and he lets his hands go, he is throwing to try to finish Rick Simone every time. That exchange with the head clash led to the only takedown of the fight for Simone, but of course, not a lot of ground control time. Oh, now Song sits onto that left hand. That was a beautiful setup. He went right hand to the body oh. first, then he come back with the left hook. Song's found his mark. He's found the timing of Simone in this round. He's able, he's landed a lot more, and not just landing, he's landing significant strikes. Yeah. And you're seeing the teep kicks start to land. That's setting up the power shots. He's using the teep kicks as the jab to find his range against Simone. And discourage Simone from level changing. He keeps showing him things up the middle. He's also showing that knee and then going to a southpaw right hook left overhand. That one right there. Very clean. He shows the knee to stop Simone from going underneath his punch, and then he follows it up from a southpaw stance. It's very creative. Ooh, they come together again. Song walking him back to the fence. Great balance by Song on these punches as well. He's yes. keeping his balance, not falling over at all. He never overthrows, D. He just throws it from the right position. Final minute, round two.
Ooh. Came close with the counter, and now he goes left hand to the liver. Those body shots are hurting. Every time Simone gets caught along the fence, he starts to lose him. He doesn't go to the head, he goes to the body. Simone's gonna have to do something to get some respect to get this guy from just walking him down. That'll help. You called it, DC. Four takedowns. It'll help Ricky Simone. Top half and Simone trying to score here in the final seconds, as is Song Yadong from bottom position with some hammer fists. How about that for a frantic exchange to cap the second round? Let's check out some of these replays. Right hand. And the clash of heads followed it up, hurt Simone, and then he was able to follow up after that, get the takedown right here. Nice one-two from Song. And that teep kick right there really has been helping him a lot to find Simone in this second round. Nice the triple jab. And you see Ricky, he's been firing that jab really well and pulling Song into these takedowns. Beautiful job timing that and then finishing Strong as well at the end of the round with the ground and pound. The fight. Third round underway. And after being an even money underdog, Song Yadong has swelled to being a favorite in your minus 300 after two rounds. One thing Ricky's doing really well, too. Nice shot down the pipe. But what he's been doing so well is not backing straight up. Ricky's always going laterally, side to side. He's not going in straight lines. That's really helping him so far with setting up those shots as well. Oh. Three, two from Song that time. You heard the corner of Ricky Simone tell him that they believed he'd be able to get a takedown, and that time his left hand got too low. Ouch. Not a body shot. It was below the belt. Yikes. Ooh, on, on the money. You rarely see that from a punch. <laughs> Luckily, Simone. Right over here. Right there. Appears to be dealing with it well. Song, song. There. You ready? Okay. Hold on, stop. We're right there. I know you came After down. After a break of under it. one minute. Action will resume. Chess match going on on the feet right now. 90 seconds into round three. Step in from Simone that time. Simone punching into a takedown attempt. Song was ready for it. He telegraphed that one a little bit. You can see him starting to level change. Song started to defend before Rick even got down into his stance to shoot. Showed that one far too early. I think Song knows that Simone pretty much is just looking for the takedown behind the hands. It's not really like throwing the hands just to land the hands. Yes. And so it's keeping Song being able to just see that second piece of the transition. And that's why he's not, and that's why he's not respecting the hands, because he's not throwing things to hurt him right now. He's throwing it to set up the shot. Yep. Oh, I saw that again in round two. What do you think he should do, Don? Well, he's doing that right there. Double jab, feint in, and then when Sadong, or when, sorry, excuse me, when Song reacts, then time your shot. But you gotta put two together. It's, it's just not hit easy. him hard. Some, he might just need to bite down on the mouth guard, throw a right hand with some intent to let Song Yudong know that 
I am going to tag you hard if you don't show me some respect and you stay in my face the entire time. Eventually, you got to stand your ground and just let a yes. nice six punch combination go to the body and head, or ending with a high kick to show him I'm here to knock you out, too. Something like that. Well, because look at what Song's throwing. Yep. Right? He knows that he is under attack from the takedowns. Oh. 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 That, hurt oh. that left to a reaction from Simone, who circles away. Simone wore it well and recovered well, but that wobbled him for a moment. I like the body work of Simone. That would really support him just to keep faking up high and then go to the body of Song. Because that's what's landing for him. It's hard to hit Song in the, in the head. He's having a tough time finding him. Song starting to find the timing a little bit when Simone enters. There's a combination that backed him up. Final minute of round three. I think we're going to see Ricky try to really pick up the pace in the next two rounds, if I'm going to be honest. I think that's part of the plan. It could be wrong, but if I'm Ricky, I'm, I'm kind of like looking at this style. He's kind of conserving a little for only yeah. four and five, but I don't know. Now, um, he has to do something different. Yeah, Song because is if strong. I'm judging the fight, he's down three rounds to zero. Yep, I agree. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of that he's believing is, okay, in the second, in the four yeah. and five, I'm going to pick up the pace on the takedowns, maybe. Got to do something. And Song doing so well moving forward and back, pressuring the right way, and really defending takedowns. Nice lean back by Simone, too. I mean, those leans aren't easy to time. He's got great eyes. I mean, he's yeah. got great eyes. Those aren't easy to Watch time. Stop. We head to the main event rounds. Yeah. Ricky Simone has it right there. Right here, you see Simone, beautiful level change into the takedown. Got his hips to the far side, but look at Song pushing his head down right away to get back up. Nice jab here by Ricky Simone. Now we got some of this, another jab by Simone into a level change. Song defends it. Overhand right by Song to the left hook. Then right here, straight left by Song Yudong. Good third round. This was the warning from Herb Dean. Oh man, yeah, Song Yudong led with his head there and Simone protested at the end of the round. And there was a warning from Herb Dean. Kind of dipped the crown of his head. Hey, well, earlier, it was a clash of head that, that dropped. Exactly, yeah. Right, then you saw that one. Simone has a, a legit right to say, hey, man, we got to fix this. And the other thing is you can't walk into the pocket with your chin up. So it's kind of a mixture of this is a fight. Flying knee for Simone. Oh, body shot from Song who puts together a combination. Song's boxing is sick, man. Counter right hand from Song Yadong. Simone's corner asking him to continue to move forward and level change. There it is. And Song with a nice sprawl. Simone, second effort, backs him to the fence, but that's about it. He did exactly what his coaches asked. They said when he defends, take down one, hit him with another one. This time he went three takedowns deep and none of them worked. And perhaps the grappling uh, approach in preparation of Song Yadong going down to Austin, te Texas, is paying dividends now. He's been able to keep the fight where he wants it for the duration so far. Yes. 
And again, look at how Ricky's circling instead of going straight back. He's trying to pull Song into something. I mean, Song's not biting, though. He's staying balanced. He's doing a good job being prepared for what Ricky's trying to set up so far. Yeah, Ricky's doing a good job of moving off the line. Yep. But, Dominic, this is new, right? This is not the Ricky Simone that we're used to. Ricky Simone is used to the guy going forward. So what Song Dong has done is pretty much changed the way that he approaches a fight by just pressuring him and moving forward into him and putting so much damage on him that he doesn't want to run the risk of taking anything too big because he knows Song Yidong is too powerful. When in reality, I feel he would have more success on the takedowns if he was more forward. Oh. Shorter man generally wants to move forward, right, DC? Yes. In these fights with kicks and everything else. The wrestler guy wants to be moving forward. Yeah. Ooh, nice oh, big up. swings, nice counter from Song Yadong. Two minutes to go, round four. Simone has done a good job this round, landed some jabs though. And honestly, all night his jab has landed because I don't know if Song respects it. It's also not a full commitment to throw that jab and it sets up his doubles. So the jab can get through, you just gotta make sure you're stopping that double leg. Yeah. You don't wanna eat the big shot. That was a good check by Simone on that one. Nice slip from Song. Evading damage on the retreat that time and then goes right back into the fire. And for Captain. Song Yadong, 13th fight in the UFC. Looks to be evolving, still just 25 years old. So deep in his fight career, long on experience. Without a doubt, China's best hope for a male UFC champion and proven that he definitely belongs in this bantamweight shark tank in the top 10. Oh man, counter shot. And he's starting to draw out some big reactions from Simone. Nice straight left there by Ricky Simone. Simone hanging in. He's stuck the jab a couple of times. But Song Yadong has absolutely stifled where Ricky Simone is best. Oh! oh that hook sets him down right at the horn. Hurt him bad. And the biggest moment of the fight happens in the final seconds of the fourth. Let's see how this punch landed for Song. It's a nasty left hook. I mean, it just sits Ricky Simone down. Right at the end of the round. Look at this, back step, back step, left hook. Boom, on the money. I mean, nasty. just beautiful. Beautiful punch by Song there. And you see right when the time expired on the clock on the octagon side, Ricky Simone has his work cut out for him with five minutes to go. Needs a stoppage to keep his five fight win streak intact. Corner told him as much too. You're gonna have to go hit this guy. You gotta get him out of there, Ricky. Simone trying for a big comeback victory. And he lands a big right. Simone's team knows he's got to land a big shot and get Song out of there. He's behind him. Oh, oh nasty right hand timed by Song. And you wonder how recovered Simone was able to get with that 60 seconds as Song Yadong perhaps looks to pile on. He's got the timing of Simone's jab, and now he's just throwing an overhand right over the top of it, clipping him in the ear every time he throws. See, every time. Oh! That's it. Followed it oh, with another hook. left hook. Simone is down. That was nasty. Song Yadong pouncing on him. Oh, oh, and he wobbles oh, him again. Shots. That's and it. that's going to do it. Give him a good shot to in finish, In the fifth too. round, that was great Song Yadong fight. is what absolutely fight. at home with the best bantamweights in the world.
And what a response for Sonya Dong. After his main event last time out, he was able to show grit and toughness. This time, he showed skill and the ability to put it away in the final rounds. Yeah, right here you see Song Yudong landing a shot that puts him out. But watch here, guys. This right here, boom, another left hook that just starches Simone. I don't know if Ricky Simone ever recovered from that shot before the end of that other round. Look at him slip. Watch him come back with the left hook. Nasty. Right on the chin, drops Ricky Simone, jumps on him and gets the finish. Song Yudong needed to make a statement, and that is exactly what he did with that performance. He looked fantastic tonight. And how about that to come in the fifth and final round? It's one thing to get a first round finish, catch your opponent, land the big shot. It's another to go into deep waters and end it in the fifth, something that wouldn't happen if this one went down in just three rounds. Ninth win by knockout for Song Yudong after a great performance throughout the fight. He put an exclamation point on it. Here's Joe to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 10 seconds of round number five. Referee Herb Dean puts a halt to the fight. For your winner by TKO, the Kung Fu Kid, Song Yo Dong!